What's good? A very big welcome back to my channel. My name is Valerie for those of you who are new. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming through. Today, as you saw by the title of the video, we're going to be filming this gorgeous, natural, simple, beginner-friendly, yet stunning makeup look. If you're interested in that, please do keep on watching. Okay, so number one, the first thing that I like to do is to go in and skin prep my skin. The biggest misconception is that you don't have to prep your skin. Prep your skin. Prep the foundation of your makeup so that your makeup can look flawless. So I have combination skin leaning more towards the dry side so i use a lot of hydrating products this is the pore minimizing serum from catrice as well as the hydro primer also from catrice i just put that all over my face and then i finish that up with the hydrating toner from constance beauty then i just kind of go in with my hands to rub in all the products i like to go in with um the got to be this is the got to be brow gel this came out i think last year and i was super super stoked because i was tired of spraying um the spray onto a spoolie and then going onto my brows and i just brush my eyebrows up and then i brush them almost to the side i brush them down to the side okay so what you want to do is you want to make sure that they dry first before you go in with your eyebrow pen so others just going to be slipping and sliding and doing too much i really and truly should get those like handheld fans and i've been saying that i should get one and i didn't want to go all the way to town because this week i was just feeling very ugh and i didn't want to leave my house but best believe i'm gonna get me that fan child so while we wait for the brows to dry i'm just gonna go ahead and start on with my foundation so i like to mix two different colors try and get my perfect tone isn't all that great but i think this is fine I think this is fine. So I do the initial application of the um, product with a brush. I love to use this dense brush from Mr. Price all over my face before I go in with the Beauty Blender. I just find that the Beauty Blender blends the product way, way better. For the brush girls, y'all continue doing that. But for me, it's the Beauty Blender all the way. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my concealer. It's not very too far off from my actual, um, my actual skin tone. Okay, so while we wait for the concealer to dry out a little bit, because I do like it to be a little bit dry. I like it to be a little bit dry so it can show up more. Um, whereas if I go and blend it immediately, it's just going to disappear into my skin. You're not going to see the glow. It's just going to be a bit boring. We're going to go into our eyebrows. And what I use for my brows is this Culture Cosmetics 3-in-1 Eye Perfection Pencil. So I did get my eyebrows powder browed a while ago. And so what I do with this pencil is I go in and I basically extend the tail as well as fill in the empty spaces. So after I've done that, I like to take this um, this paintbrush that I actually got from CNA. It's a paintbrush. And the same concealer that we use for underneath our eyes. And I stick just a little bit of that in there. And we're going to carve out the bottom of the brow. We're not going to let that sit like the rest of our face. What we are going to do is take, um, this is a little concealer brush. And I'm going to go ahead and blend that out because you don't want it to look too harsh. You want it to look as seamless and as natural as possible. So we're going to blend it up as soon as we are done applying it. We're going to try and keep the brows as natural looking as possible. So I just conceal the bottom and then I'm going to leave the top as it is because we already kind of cleaned that up a little bit with um, the foundation when we were applying the foundation. So what I am going to do right now is blend out this concealer with well, the first layer of concealer that I have with, um, with this concealer brush. And I like to start from the edges moving inward because we do want that inner part of the eye to be, you know, to be the most, to be the brightest. So we're going to blend out. Take your time when you're blending. Please do not rush. Okay, so before I go in with um, the Beauty Blender, I'm going to go in with just a little bit, a smidge of this concealer because it's super, super bright. Um, just a little bit in the corner of my eye, just like that. That is all you need. I'm going to blend that in, but not move it out too much. I'm just going to blend that in. Keep it in the corner of my eye. Okay, so this one is a free project. 
this one is a free pro tip okay once you are done blending out the bottom like the, uh, the underneath your eyes please do not sit and wait don't sit away for it because it will crease immediately set your eyes i'm going to be using this fit me matte and poreless normal to oily skin foundation in the shade 220 that's natural beige i'm going to use the side that i used to blend out that concealer and sort of just you know do like this and go right underneath my eyes if you do find that your um, foundation has creased a little bit that's okay just go in with your beauty blender again and sort of blend everything out and make sure that the creases aren't there otherwise if you just go ahead and set it you are setting the creases and then i'm going to use the remainder of the powder to just sort of set my eyebrows because i don't want them to look too shiny don't worry it's not going to look white because we're going to spray it with a setting spray at the end of the look so some of you are like oh it's gonna look like a ghost don't worry about it sweetheart it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine and so now we're going into my favorite part of this video and that is bronzing so i use the same powder but in the shade nutmeg um and this angled brush so we're going to use this powder i like to dust it off so that we're not doing too much and i like to just pat and look how I'm going up. I'm always blending my products up because if you blend your contour or your bronzer downwards, you're bringing your face down. But we want that natural, that natural facelift. Do you feel me? I don't know if you can see how subtly that's already brought color to my face. I no longer look like a ghost. But just keep doing that until you feel, until you feel satisfied. Just packing that product on a little bit on at a time. Don't do too much. Okay, so once you're satisfied with your bronzing technique and your bronzing skills, we're gonna go in and use this um, angled brush, and I'm gonna dip it. I'm gonna dip it into that bronzer again, dusting off the excess, and then I'm gonna start here, right over here, where my eyebrow sort of begins, and by the curve of my nose, right over here. So when I contour my nose, this is exactly where I start on both sides and then we move down the sides of the nose and don't be afraid to blend into your brow don't be afraid to blend into your brow just so that the blend is a little bit more seamless okay now we're going to take the same bronzer most of this look is basically bronzer we're not going to be doing eyeshadow like that we're just going to take the bronzer and then we're actually going to Go on ahead and pack that into or blend that into the crease of your eyelid. Be careful not to touch your brow bone because you want that highlight to show. Instead, you're going to take that and you're going to pat that just in the crease of your eyelid like that. And then with this look, what we're gonna do is also go down um, on the lower lash line and bronze that out. Take on your beauty blender and using the side that we used to apply pound powder to the bottom of our eyes, we're just going to blend that out so that the, um, the outline isn't too harsh and so that everything is blended out seamlessly. We're gonna go in ahead and go for a blush. This is the Constance Beauty Nude Palette and we're going to be using one of the pinks. Let's go for, let's go for this one, this more orange looking pink. We're gonna go for this one and we're gonna use that as blush. So I like to tap my blush brush that I also got from Mr. Price into there and sort of just tap off the excess and go in right on top of that contour and bring that up and around halfway of my eyebrow. I think I'm actually gonna dip into a little bit of that pink, just a little bit of this pink right over here and go a little bit closer to the bottom of my eye and up halfway my eyebrow. So just a little bit under my eye and then up. 
blush is the girl she thinks she is okay i love this so much i feel like i never used to be the type of person to use this much blush i was so afraid once i was afraid i was petrified listen we're not done we're not done this right here this is the essence lash princess false lash effect and she does what she says she's gonna do okay it really and truly does give the false lash um effect and so i like to do a couple layers of this on my top and bottom lashes just so that my eyes can pop out a little bit a little bit more you people can't talk to me anyhow anymore you can't talk to me anyhow anymore after discovering this thing. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other brow and I'll be back. You know, I don't know what it is about bottom lashes that just makes your whole face so wonderful, but they're doing the damn thing. So this is my favorite lip combo of all time. Everybody knows this, I'm always posting this new lip combo. This is the Constance Beauty lipsticks, um, and I have it in the shade Bare and Mahogany. Mahogany we're gonna use as a liner. So normally I would use the MAC liner in the shade Chestnut, but we're gonna go ahead and use, excuse me, excuse me. Look at how stunning, look at how stunning that is. I feel like every time that I have lipstick on or whatever, it's always overlined, but I'm, I'm a new creation. I'm trying so hard to be, to be a new creation. So I'm gonna say, some somewhat within my natural lip perimeters now we're going to go in with bare right in the center so this is like a really pretty nude lip color so i'm going to add some of this lip gloss this is the essence lip gloss it's got i think the name rubbed off but i will find it and it does have a bit of a pink tint. Okay, I think that's a little bit better. That's a little bit better. Let me spray my face and set all of this, get my hair done and be back for the reveal. Basically, this is the look. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, give this video a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe right now. Let me know if you enjoy watching my beauty videos as opposed to vlog videos. I mean, I will be doing both. I'll just be, you know, living it up and doing better. So let me know if you enjoyed this video down below in the comment section. I'll see you in the next one.